Manson doesn't own up to his share in this. I take offense to that. I take um, responsibility for my part. And part of my responsibility was helping create him. The words of a convicted killer, Leslie Van Houten has spent more than two thirds of her life behind bars for the role she played in the infamous Manson family murder spree. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. I'm Cheryl and this is True Crime and Other Stuff. Thanks for being here. Today, we're gonna to talk about Leslie Van Houten. She's one of the Manson family members the only one to be set free from prison last week. She had been in prison for 53 years. Leslie Van Houten, Patricia Kernwinkel, and Susan Atkins were all sentenced to death in California for the killings of the Tate LaBianca murders back in 1968. But then there death sentences were overturned and they were tr uh, turned into life sentences in prison. Patricia Kernwinkle is now the longest incarcerated female inmate in California and she will go up for parole in November 17, 2023. Charles Manson died on November 19, 2017 and Tex Watson is still serving life in prison and he is now 77 years old. I would also like to thank my over 900 subscribers. I'm close to a thousand. Thanks for watching my videos and have a nice day. Thank you. When I look at Leslie, I don't look at her to her crime. I look at Leslie as who she is as a person. The 73-year-old walked out of prison Tuesday. Tonight, the anger and frustration from the victim's families who hoped this day would never come. I prayed until I was gritting my teeth that she gets a flashback of the screams, the grunts, the blood. I'm a convict. I'm an outlaw. I'm a rebel. I'm not a Sunday school teacher. Pat and I took Mrs. LaBianca into the bedroom. And um, the sounds of Mr. LaBianca dying came into the bedroom. When Mrs. LaBianca heard her husband being killed by Tex, she started um, calling out to him and yelling for him. And Tex came in. Killed her. And then Tex turned me around and handed me the knife and he said, do something. Because Manson had told him to make sure that all of us got our hands dirty. And um, I stabbed Mrs. LaBianca in the lower back about 16 times. It took law enforcement three months to link the Manson family to the murders. But by that time, the stage was set for a trial that would both fascinate and disgust those who watched. It was insanity from beginning to end. It was a circus. It was on television every night. It was spectacle. Manson would come in suspicious or charming, demonic or eerily, you know, amiable. Even more shocking were the sight of the three women. How do you feel, Miss Krenwinkel? In these colorful dresses, sometimes they'd be singing. The contrast between the savagery of the crime and the kind of 
carefree nature, it was deeply unsettling. Every bit of it was planned out by Charles Manson. The entire proceedings were scripted by Charlie. Every day we'd meet and he'd decide, well, today I want you each to stand up and hold your hands in some stupid symbols. You're going to get up and scream, the old gray mare. You're going to get up and earn an X in your head. You're going to go bald. And that day we proceeded through the events as he said it. Hello. Eventually, all five were found guilty of murder and sentenced to death. Leslie Van Houten, who was convicted only in the LaBianca's deaths, became the youngest woman in California sent to death row.